Today's an incredibly exciting day because Lightroom just did a huge update that I don't think we knew we needed. Lightroom just updated a ton of their masking features. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can best use them to make our photos pop. We can select our subject, our sky, we can make the backgrounds pop out, we can make the foregrounds, edit them just how we want, and it's super exciting. So I'm gonna show you how I edit this photo and how you can use these masks. So starting from the top here, I used one of my fall presets and did some quick adjustments to get it to a balanced photo. Now I'm gonna come up to the mask tool, which is up here on the top right. And we're gonna hit select subject. Now what this does is it analyzes the photo and it picks the subject for you. And depending on how well it does, as you can see here, it's actually doing a really great job of selecting the car in the frame. Up here, you can click these little three dots and you can select what kind of overlay you want. And you can get to that by hitting O on your keyboard or by clicking this show overlay. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I can now adjust the effects just on my car. And it's incredible because you can bring up the shadows just on your car, it's not affecting the background at all. And you can just kind of make really, really quick edits on here. Now that's not the only cool tool they've added is if you hit a create new mask, you can hit select sky. Previously, this was something you could do in Photoshop and now they're giving you the ability to really quickly select the sky and make any adjustments you might want just on that sky alone, which is a pretty cool feature. Now, if you ask me, those two tools alone are enough to make this update incredible. But check this out. This is where it gets really, really cool. A lot of the time in car photography, we create a gradient on the ground here to draw attention to the car. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to actually create a different one, which is really, really cool. We're going to create a new mask, a linear gradient, and we're actually going to drag it up to the entire road here because the road's getting a little bit discolored. But what's really cool is even if I drag this mask all the way up here, let's say, we can click on subtract and we're gonna select subject. Now what this is gonna do is now take the subject in our frame and subtract that from the mask, which is incredible. Now what we're gonna do is subtract, because it's not doing a perfect job here, we're gonna select the brush and we can paint away exactly what we don't want that to be affecting. So really cool that it obviously selects it for you really quick, but then you still have the option to take away or paint in whatever you want. So that's really, really nice. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit down here anyway. And we're just gonna reduce the exposure there, make that road darker. And I'm actually gonna take away saturation and make that look like a really nice clean road to get the cleanest image possible. Now I'm gonna add another linear gradient and take it from the top because I wanna actually do something to the background. So this is where it gets really, really powerful. As we hit subtract, we're gonna select our subject. It's gonna subtract our subject from the background. And then again, we're gonna subtract and select the sky. Now what this is gonna do is take away the subject and the sky. So at this point, we get to just edit the background or what's behind the car. So for me, I'm gonna actually make it pop a little bit, take the shadows and make them a little bit more contrasty. And you can see what that's doing to my subject is it's allowing it to just kind of pop out of the frame. And I'm really digging that. So we're gonna make sure top of the mountains align with the sky a little bit better. If we wanted to, we can add some clarity, some sharpening, but I think that's a super powerful and quick way to adjust certain things in your foreground, background, and we're not done yet. Create new mask and we're gonna hit color range. So in Calgary here, it's fall, so we're getting some of these really nice, beautiful colors. But what you can do here is select, let's say the colors on the left side there, and over on the right, we can refine exactly which colors we want to affect here. Now, this is a tool that was previously happening before, but this is just making it a lot easier. And again, we just wanna subtract the subject from it because we don't want any colors affected on there. And if it's not perfect, we will use a brush and we can paint away what we do not want to be affected. So from here, if you wanted to make those colors pop a little bit more, you can add warmth, exposure, saturation, whatever you want. You have now adjustments that you can do. What Lightroom also did for us is now you can name your mask. So we're gonna name this the car layer. You can name this your sky layer. All you have to do is double click on it and you can name all of those layers so that it helps you stay organized. Again, something that used to only be in Photoshop but now is a super powerful tool in Lightroom. And here is another really quick example of how you can use the color mask tool. When I added the fall preset to this photo, it's taking the natural yellows in the photo. If you see the before and after here, 
the yellow is really popping off here. And then when I add the fall preset, it makes it a bit more orange. So you can add a masking layer here with the color range tool and we can refine it. If you hit O, you can see exactly what we're affecting. We can refine it here just onto the stitching. And then from there we can adjust maybe just the hue just to bring it back to the natural yellow that it was in the car. So it's really cool how finely you can adjust those colors to bring it back to what it naturally was if say some presets are adjusting your colors how you don't want them to. And then here you can just do a couple quick edits and it really makes editing so, so fast. Again, let's just select the sky. It's coming in a bit colorful and weird. Make it a little bit more moody. And very, very quickly, you have a very moody photo. Another interesting way to use these tools is if you have a mask that is on your car, for example, or your subject, you can actually click on duplicate that mask, which is up here, and then you can invert that layer. Now, all I've done on this layer is added a little bit of a dehaze and a little bit of a desaturation. And if you click this little eye here, you can see that that really quickly just makes the car stand out. So they've given us so many tools now to be really creative using masks. And I think you guys having these tools now, it just opens up so many doors for us to be more creative. So thanks so much to Lightroom and Adobe for creating these new updates. And I hope that you guys enjoy using them and if you find new and creative ways please let us know in the comments down below how we can maybe use them as creators to expand our creativity or whatever you want to do but yeah thanks guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this and you learned something click that like and leave a comment down below if you enjoy content like this please feel free to subscribe if you like some of the looks that you're getting from here i do have lightroom presets down below feel free to check those out but otherwise guys i do hope to see you in the next video peace